Hello everyone, Bettina Gary here, and I'm broadcasting from sunny Seattle today. It's a small world after all, and we're all in this together. And today I'm actually having a conversation with a really great women's empowerment champion, and that is the owner of Mattress City, Stuart Patey. Welcome, Stuart. It's so great to have you here today. Glad to be here, Bettina. Yes, and so you have been um, diving in in your community and supporting all kinds of folks and doing one thing or another, whether that's breast cancer awareness or working with the Everett Gospel Mission and now yep. the Women's Empowerment Summit. So tell us a little bit about yourself, your uh, company, um, your family, and um, how that factors in to the kinds of things that you jump into to help and support. Absolutely. Glad to do that. In fact, you know, it actually just makes a lot of sense for us to be able to be a part and sponsor with the uh, empowerment for the women right now, because actually half of my employees are, are women. <laughs> um, they know how to do a good job. They know how to get the job done the way it should be done the first time. I actually have to keep training these guys. I'm sorry, but it's just the way it is in, in my industry. But we absolutely love to give back to our community. And like you mentioned, you know, Sylvia at the Everett Gospel Mission, the director there, um, I've known her for many, many years. And one of the things that has always been near and dear to our heart um, as a company is, you know, you can only do so many things and everybody's trying to do everything, you know, to help community, to help other people out there. And one of the ways that we want to do it, we didn't want to do this uh, just once in a while. We didn't want to just say for this month, we're going to do that. Now, some projects that we've done, Bettina, like uh, breast cancer awareness, a lot of times, you know, people know that if they've been involved in those types of programs, typically like a month out of the year, we pick that and we still sponsor that as well. But I love to do anything we can that just makes sense to, to helping others in our community. And uh, one of the things, like I said, that is, is so near and dear to us is that all year long, we always are looking as a company, even a small business like us, we, we've been in business for now 10 years. I've been doing this for many, many years, but our own business, and we have five different stores, Bettina, throughout Puget Sound to help our community. But one of the things that we found, or in, in you know, personally to me, is I worked for all the other mattress stores. I worked for the big ones, like, you know, uh, the national chains, uh, and, and, and I've been there, done that. But a couple of them would do givebacks or sponsorships to the community, but they only did it like one, one month or two months out of the year. And I just, I would, ever, I would always say, and it was kind of a frustration for me, I would always say, why don't you guys just do this all year long? What, what keeps you from doing it all year long? Because again, if you expect the community, especially a small business owner like we are with five locations in, in Puget Sound, if, if you expect people to support you, why can't you all year long give back to your community? And so that's one of the reasons that when you brought this concept to me, I just said this makes absolute perfect sense to be able to do just that. Yes, and you know, you're our title sponsor for the Women's Empowerment Summit which is on Wednesday, June the 10th from 8.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m. And we couldn't be more proud than to bring you on as our very first title sponsor for this conference. It's gonna be virtual instead of live. It was planned uh, to be in the live world, but obviously with our pandemic, we've had to move it to just yeah. a virtual platform. And it's allowing us to play in a way that we might not have otherwise considered. So I would imagine that you have some um, experiences with me that I, um, in terms of working collaboratively together, because we've been now joined at the hip for about two years. But when yeah. I first came to Mattress City, I was actually uh, there to help my son and his wife purchase one of their first mattresses as a couple. I remember and that. <laughs> they did a wonder, yeah, they did a wonderful job uh, listening to what you had to say. And we had a list of um, other stores that we were gonna shop and other deals and that we were gonna compare to. But we were so impressed with you and Julie, the ethics in which you operate, the fact that you really took care of us, that we not only bought that mattress, but about two years ago, I bought another mattress for myself from you. And then they've subsequently bought more mattresses and bedding um, and also furniture um, for their daughter, and who's my granddaughter. 
And so it's just been a, been a really wonderful relationship that's deepened over time. And yeah. I can't thank you enough for being the title, the first title sponsor of the Virtual Women's Empowerment Summit. That is something that's going to always be something I remember till the, you know, till the day I die. And so I want to send my appreciation for you and for Julie and um, the family there. And can you share a little bit about how folks can get a hold of you? Um, I know that your stores have uh, actually remained open um, yeah. because you are an essential service, um, having yeah. provided uh, some of your mattresses to people who were coming home from uh, the hospital, as well right. as uh, folks that you were providing mattresses to um, places like the Union, Everett Union Gospel Mission, for that matter. Correct. So yeah. share a little bit about how um, folks can reach you in terms of yeah. your five locations and um, so on. Yeah, well, thanks for asking. Uh, and you know, you know what's really interesting, Bettina, and this, this occurred before you came back and we started talking about how you and your particular company can help and assist Mattress City to go further. Because like I said, we've been working with you know, each other for quite some time now. But interesting that it didn't take anything but the fact that you realized you had an overall amazing experience with Mattress City. And I want to tell you one of the main reasons why that actually is the reality. You know, you can go and purchase mattresses at a lot of different places, even online. We, we all know what's happening in our country and the demographic and the, the whole retail environment is, is literally evolving overnight. But it's an interesting statement that you made that makes a big difference. And I want people to totally understand this because if you don't really hear this one message, then really I'm just another mattress store choice for you. But there's a reason that out of some 1600 plus Google reviews for all five locations that we average 4.9. Now we're not perfect, nobody is, I don't think, but I'll tell you this, we do everything we can to go out of our way to take care of people. And, and if we do make a mistake or we drop the ball somehow, some way, we not only admit that, we not only, you know, fess up to that, but we, we make it right and we take care of people. You know, one of the things that you said when you came back after two years, after your first initial purchase, is you told me, and this, this was loud and clear, you just said, the one thing, the reason I came back, because I asked you specifically and you said, there was just no pressure. All you did was offer great advice, good information, and it was just like, why wouldn't I do this? And you also had price checked some things and you just realize I, I don't know how you guys can do that well there's a lot of reasons because we're a part of the largest buying group in the world um, you know people obviously if you use a, a, a company a big major you know um, you know company that like Costco for example everyone knows that and Amazon and so on they, they assume that these companies have the corner on the market that they have the best prices you know that's just not true because if you're all a part of the same buying group, they might buy larger units at one given time versus I, but we still get the same price points and we just pass it on to our customers. But there's one major reason that we separate ourselves from all other companies in the mattress and furniture industry. And that is we don't pay our, our employees on commission. So there's no hidden agenda to try to force somebody into something that they really don't need or they shouldn't buy. I mean, it's really all about the consumer. It's all about their needs. That's why we listen. And that's why we take the extra time to do that. And I thought that was really interesting when you came back. You just said, wow, there's just no pressure. And it just seemed like a perfect example. I'm going to come back here because you were treated so well. And that's what I want people to understand is that we really do understand as a small family run business, we understand what you want. And I would I would take care of every customer and we do that. We, try, we strive to do it every single day. We take care of every customer as if they're an extension of our own family. In other words, what would you do if it was Uncle Roy? What would you do if you took care of your brother or your sister or your best friend? You would go out of your way to take care of that person. And that is the heart and that's the spirit of Mattress City. And that's what I want people to understand is that we not only have the greatest prices, we, we talk about having the top name brands at simply unbeatable prices, that's just not a catchphrase, that's a reality. And if you want to, please go check prices online or anywhere else and then come into us and you'll go, I don't know how you guys do it, but we don't have to price gouge. We don't have to pay the high commissions to the salespeople. 
and they love working for us because you want to know something. Not only do we take care of our employees, but we take care of our customers and it shows in our Google reviews. And that is one of the main reasons that we continue to get repeat business. So if you want to be treated like, like family, you truly are, you're, you're going to find the best experience anywhere that you go to when it comes to your furniture and your mattress needs, because we know what we're doing and we love to take care of people. We're very passionate about what we do. And I think you, you can see that. Oh, absolutely. And, um, you know, Newfangled Commerce and Blake Messer and I have been, have teamed up to service your account and uh, we have a really good time um, getting the word out. We're con currently conducting a sleep study for you and uh, we're getting um, some really intimate knowledge about what challenges people are facing right great, now. Great information. Um, and great. it's really great information about the sleep or the lack of sleep that people are getting. So, um, I'm so thankful for you, uh, Julie, to have agreed to be the uh, title sponsor for the Women's Empowerment Summit. Uh, for those of you who have not registered, you can go visit us on the web at uh, womensempowermentsummit.com or thewomensmarketplace.com. You can also join our mailing list by texting the word WOMEN to 555-888. And it's been a pleasure to have you here today, Stuart, to share a little bit about your heart and your spirit and what you do for your customers. And of course, um, I can't thank you enough. So um, give, uh, give Julie a big hug for me too. Will do. And one other thing too, Bettina, the way that people can reach us on the web, very simple, uh, we're, we're, we really respond in, in real time, is www.mattress-city.com. And we're there to take care of you. And uh, we look forward to seeing any of you. And, and like I said, we're excited about the sponsorship and what this is uh, going to do going forward. Fantastic. Remember, everyone, it's a small world after all, and we're all in this together. So be sure to take care of one another. Bye for now. Thank you, Stuart. Yeah, thank you.